Uh, good day, dear visitors. Uh, can you hear me well? Um, greetings from St. Petersburg. Namaste. My name is Ekaterina and I present uh, Niva Seasons uh, Touristic Agency. And um, it's a real pleasure for me to be here and to have this opportunity uh, to tell you not only about our company, but as well about St. Petersburg and about um, and to tell something about the opportunities that this city can offer your clients. Uh, first of all, I would like to give you just a short, brief information about our company, about who we are, what we do, and what we can offer. So, who we are? Uh, we are a family-owned business, and every new partner, every new client is like a new member of our big, big family, and we welcome uh, each new partner with open arms. Uh, our company was uh, based 20 years ago. This year in January, we celebrated uh, an anniversary. And during this long period of time, our company gained a huge experience. Uh, our managers are highly professional and we are ready to provide the best service in St. Petersburg and, of course, in other regions of Russia as well. The main office of our company is located in St. Petersburg. Uh, nevertheless, we have another office in Moscow and uh, provide uh, the services around all Russia. Um, so, about uh, the services we offer, about what we do. Uh, we provide different kind of services, starting from uh, individual and group packages and finishing with mice and events. Of course, we provide uh, separate services as well, uh, such as uh, accommodation, transfer services, uh, guides, um, entrances to the museums, and etc. and so on. Still, the most popular packages, uh, the most popular tours uh, you can see in our uh, slide. Among them, tours to St. Petersburg, both group and individual tours, uh, combined tours, Moscow and St. Petersburg, Moscow, St. Petersburg and Golden Ring. During the winter time, um, a very popular combination is St. Petersburg, Moscow and uh, Murmansk, of course, including uh, the program Hunting the Northern Lights. We also provide military tours, anti-crisis tours uh, that we prepared during this uh, 2020 um, it was a kind of uh, anti-COVID uh, tours. Um, I just would like to mention a couple of anti-crisis tours that we offer. Uh, for example, uh, modern St. Petersburg, when we focus on the modern constructions like as uh, Lafter Center, we visit uh, the most popular modern objects um, like um, the Holland, New Holland Island, um, a very popular between locals. Um, well, yes, it's a kind of a modern um site of course uh we we can uh visit uh, zenith arena where the cup of confederation and fifa world cup were held another anti-crisis uh, tour is uh, naval saint petersburg when we focus on the importance of saint petersburg as a naval city and uh, we visit Kronstadt city if possible uh, also cruise aurora and another tour um the last one I will mention uh, parks and gardens of St. Petersburg when uh, due to its name uh, we mainly visit a lot of parks and gardens. Uh, St. Petersburg and its suburbs uh, has a lot of uh, green zones. And normally uh, we do not include any entrance fees in our anti-crisis programs just to make uh, the price uh, lower. Still upon request of course it's possible to add um, entrance fees to any museums, any uh, places our clients would like to visit. Uh, we also provide city by locals. Uh, some of these tours are elaborated by our tour guides. Uh, these are tailor-made tours and uh, Thanks to these tours, our clients uh, can discover St. Petersburg from a little different perspective uh, to discover this uh, city uh, and to see how the locals uh, live here, um, to see the city from the, uh, not from the touristic point of view, but from the point of view of locals. 
uh, and next slide will be what we can provide uh, for our Indian tourists and um, our partners from India. Uh, first of all, and very important point, accommodation in India-friendly hotels. There are not a lot of India-friendly hotels in St. Petersburg and even in Moscow. That's why to have allotments in these hotels is very important. Um, meals at India-friendly restaurants. Um, we are aware uh, about the preferences, uh, Indian preferences, and we provide uh, India-friendly vegetarian, non-vegetarian food, uh, but also um, it may be some dishes of local cuisine uh, that Indian people may like. Um, excursions. Normally, excursions for Indian um, clients are held in, in, with English-speaking guide. Uh, still, upon request, we can provide Hindi guide as well, Hindi-speaking guide. As India uh, belongs to one of the countries, they may visit uh, Russia starting from 2021, January, with e-visa. Of course, we provide e-visa support uh, to help our clients. And the last but not the least point is that we have uh, India-friendly managers. What do I mean by saying India-friendly managers? Our managers completed trainings and received India-friendly certificates. As I have already said, we are aware about the preferences of uh, Indian tourists, about uh, food preferences as well, and uh, their preferences um, that take uh, that um, is to be with accommodation. So we are always ready uh, to choose the best options for them. And by the way, our company was among uh, the first companies who received safe travels. It means that we um, that we uh, do all the best in our office and also our guides and other points of touristic spheres to provide uh, the best and safe tra uh, service for your clients. Um, I'm absolutely sure that you know about the destination of St. Petersburg and you know uh, that it's a cultural center of uh, Russia and it's very difficult to choose the museums to visit. That's why we uh, prepared a top three must-see museums in St. Petersburg. The first one is, of course, the Hermitage Museum um, because it's absolutely impossible to imagine your trip to St. Petersburg uh, without visiting the world-known museum and admiring its collections. The second museum is uh, the Peterhof, the former residence, summer residence of Russian emperors. We can uh, include uh, just Grand Palace or uh, Lower Park apart with its fountains, or just make a combined tour to Grand Palace and the park. Uh, the last museum we selected is uh, the Grand Maquette of Russia. It's an interactive museum. Uh, still, it will be interesting not only for children, but uh, for people of different ages. Uh, because uh, in this museum, you have this unique opportunity to see uh, the whole territory of Russia in one place with the most important sites. We also elaborated, um, selected three um, activities for Indian tourists. The first one is uh, visiting a folk show, because uh, while you're visiting uh, a folk show, you can discover not only uh, the traditions, uh, the Russian traditions, and uh, also uh, get involved uh, in this uh, in, in very process of Russian dances. The second option is shopping. St. Petersburg is not the capital of Russia. Still, we have a very good shopping here and all the main um, brands of clothes and other brands are presented in our city, definitely. And uh, the most important point is that we have a lot of super malls and the location of these super malls is so good that we can easily combine your touristic um, plans your touristic program with um, a super mall visiting, with mall visiting and with shopping, and not only um, souvenir shopping, I mean. Uh, or even we can combine um, a dinner or lunch uh, with shopping in a mall as well. And the last option we offer is a nightlife. Nightlife in St. Petersburg is different and uh, absolutely various. It can be uh, nightclubs, it can be um, bars, restaurants, or just as we put here, 
um, a, river, a river cruise along uh, the river Neva. Um, it, possible to make a kind of a banquet or um, I don't know a kind of a dinner on board and thus you will admire uh, during the winter time uh, I'm sorry during the summer time um, during the white nights uh, you will admire uh, the bridges open and you will see the city absolutely from a different perspective Okay, and now I would like uh, to change a little bit the subject and uh, to give you another opportunity St. Petersburg can offer. Uh, St. Petersburg is a European uh, city and we have a lot of beautiful construction and absolutely amazing views. So um, that's why last year uh, St. Petersburg is more popular among young people who are ready uh, and are willing, who want to make their uh, ceremony, wedding ceremony in this city. Uh, it's possible uh, to make um, a beautiful photo session in St. Petersburg. It can be in front of the main uh, sight scenes, like here in St. Isaac Cathedral. Or for example, like in this slide, uh, on the rooftop in St. Petersburg, there are a lot of rooftops with panoramic views, and your client will, be, uh, will, will have absolutely fascinating, beautiful pictures of their ceremony. When it will be finished, they will um, get this uh, memorable photographs and about venues of course St. Petersburg and its suburbs can offer a lot of uh, venues for the celebration itself it may be uh, open space uh, venues like here Konstantinovsky Palace it may be Ekaterinovsky Palace in Pushkin it may be Peterhof Strelna a lot of venues and a wide choice to choose for example, we can um, choose any palace in St. Petersburg, in the city itself, like Yusupovsky Palace, Menshikovsky Palace. All depends on the number of guests um, invited for the ceremony and, of course, on the client, on their wishes, preferences and on the budget as well. We, as a tour operator, we are ready to prepare um, as per request uh, any type of wedding and uh, we would we can provide any kind of service starting from the very beginning choosing uh, a venue uh, choosing photo photographer video operator transport services and finishing you know, with the food because it's a very important part of any ceremony uh, it, uh, any kind of food can be provided as per request. It may be Indian, vegetarian, non-vegetarian. It may be even a mixture of uh, Indian food and Italian, for example, or some parts of local uh, food because we're aware of uh, preferences of Indian people and we know that there are some uh, some uh, dishes uh, that uh, they may like, uh, local dishes. Um, so we are always uh, ready to to prepare all the uh, all the wedding from the very beginning uh, till, uh, till the last point. Okay, we don't have uh, a lot of time left. I just would like to summarize and to give you some um, notes why you should choose our company once you are planning your trip to Russia. Um, our company has 20 years on the touristic market. Now we are available 24 hours, seven days um, a week. We provide different uh, packages and uh, have uh, an idea how to give you the best service. We have allotments in um, India-friendly hotels and our guides uh, can provide city-wide local tours. And uh, the most, uh, one of the most important parts is that we uh, select uh, guides with um, highly professional guides we select. We pay um, a very important attention uh, to this part because we know that guides are um, the person who will be from the first day till the last day with our clients. So that's why we pay a special attention to this point and to the selection of the guides. And of course, we have uh, different uh, terms of payments. That's uh, also very important. Okay.
uh, that's it. I will uh, leave our contact uh, in case you have any questions. You can ask them right now or you can uh, send me an email that is indicated here or find us in any uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram, and we'll be all, we, we, we will be always uh, delighted to have you uh, as, a, as a friend and to read uh, your messages. And of course, if you have any requests, please um, send it to our email. Thank you very much for your attention. It was a pleasure for me to be here and to give you an idea of what St. Petersburg uh, may offer you. In case of any questions, please, you are welcome. Hello, dear colleagues. My name is Anastasia. I'm head of the incoming department at Art Travel Tour Operator. Our company was founded in 2003, and for 17 years we have welcomed tourists from different countries of the world in Moscow, St. Petersburg, and other cities of Russia. Some of you may probably know our company, maybe you worked with us, because in September 2016 our company took part in a roadshow Welcome to St. Petersburg. Sorry about this technical issue. So, in 2016 we participated in the roadshow Welcome to St. Petersburg, and we had presentations in Delhi and Mumbai, and there was a lot of feedback from the tourist sector of India. We got a lot of requests and we were able to implement some of them and we probably met with some of you at international tourist exhibitions where we participate annually such as BTM uh, in London, in Milan, in Berlin, it's ITV in Berlin, and our art travel tour operator is a member of uh, the Russian Union of the tourist sector. It's also a member of the League of Tour Operators in St. Petersburg and um, a member of Medical Tourism Association. Our main qualities are high quality and safety. And in 2019, St. Petersburg became a leading city destination for Europe. And this year, in November 2020, we got a tourist Oscar as a leading destination in the world. And such awards show that in St. Petersburg we have true professionals such as uh, hotel operators, tour operators, restaurants. And it is for a reason that St. Petersburg became the first city to join the global program for safe travels. And we are a member of this program. The only thing that we are lacking right now is opening up the borders and renewal of international air travel. And we are looking forward to it because in 2021, in January, we will have expanded e-visa and I like the visa that started functioning in 2019 tourists can visit St. Petersburg but also other cities of the region such as Kaliningrad and the travel time increased from 8 days to 16 days the tourists can now get this e-visa we already improved the mechanism we helped our tourists fill in the questionnaires. It's not difficult, it takes only five minutes. You should just pay attention. But even if there are any difficulties or mistakes, you can always get in touch with our customer service. They are very open, they are ready to contact, and they respond pretty quickly. So, we are looking forward to seeing our guests and as a tour operator of 17 years we provide a full range of services including 
Mixed tours, corporate or group tourism, and one of our main areas is receiving VIP guests and high status events. We hosted the Women's International Forum in St. Petersburg. We co hosted the Students' International Forum, the IT Specialist Forum and other events. And we know for sure that St. Petersburg has all the resources available to meet the demands of the most choosy client. First of all, these are luxurious hotels located in historical buildings, for example, the Four Seasons Hotel, a five-star hotel, which is located in a 19th century mansion that is known as a house with lions. We have the empire-style building here. Four Seasons is a pretty young hotel, unlike Grand Hotel Europe, which is owned by Belmont Company right now. The hotel was uh, opened back in 1875 in the building where it is located now. And for years, celebrities stayed here, and the interior design is so nice that there are excursions in this hotel. There is also the Teleon Imperial Hotel on Nevsky Prospect, the former palace of the Chicherians. During restoration, original interior designs of the 18th and uh, 20th centuries were restored in the President's suite and on the roof of this hotel there is a swimming pool under a glass dome with a panoramic view. There is also a beautiful restaurant on the roof at the Moika 22 Kempinski Hotel. And one of my favorites is Boutique Hotel Trezini. It's a small chamber hotel, it only has 21 rooms with antique furniture with designer interiors and of course the Hermitage Hotel. This is the State Hermitage Museum. And uh, in summer 2021 we are looking forward to the opening of another beautiful five-star hotel on Nevsky Prospect, Wallenberg. And even at the construction stage we can see that this will be a great hotel which will take a worthy place among the best hotels. Of course, transport is also paramount for every tour. And because in St. Petersburg there are annual international forums and important political events, we have a great fleet of cars, buses, which is renewed every year, and any premium class car or a retro car can be offered to a client, and you can ride such a car feeling a true emperor, or you can actually take a, a carriage with horses. In St. Petersburg we have roads, but we also have water channels, and every tourist coming to St. Petersburg in summer finds it important to take a ride in rivers and channels and canals on a boat. This is the Kempinski Bay. There is also a big yacht club in St. Petersburg with great yachts of any size and configuration. Some yachts can't enter small rivers. They can also travel along the Neva River. But it's a great pleasure to ride a yacht or a boat in summer, and you can see the Amsterdam boat here, which is unique. It was built in 2019 for celebrity guests. And as a previous speaker, Yekaterina said, the lifting of bridges is also beautiful. It takes place at night in St. Petersburg. You can see those bridges rising, and it's a great pleasure to watch this on board a ship. 
And there's another transport, helicopters. St. Petersburg has one of the best plants for production and repair of helicopters. This is the Klimov plant, and there are tourists, uh, tourists there. And uh, another helicopter excursion around St. Petersburg is also very popular. You can look at this Kronstadt island uh, from the air, from a helicopter, and you can also use a helicopter to go to Karelia region. This is uh, a region where we have the Valam Monastery. It takes only one hour of flight, or you can go to the Kish Island, which has a beautiful architecture ensemble, which is part of the UNESCO list. It takes three or four hours to get there. Or you can go to a Karelian estate amid beautiful nature on board of a lake, and you can do hunting or fishing there in the open air. Also in St. Petersburg, we have a helicopter center called Helidrive. This is where the first private sanitary aviation service in Russia was opened. We have excursions there. The tourists are very interesting. Tourists can see different kinds of helicopters there. And we also work with the medical aviation service. Just as attractive and exclusive is railway transport, in particular retro trains. Such trains depart from St. Petersburg and they go to Gatchina or the city of Pavlovsk. This is a former emperor's residence. And you can also go along the railway of life. During World War II, this was the only railway connecting the surrounded Leningrad with the entire country. And we also have a legendary marble canyon. You can get there by train as well. And finally, the most famous retro train goes around the Baikal railway in Siberia. This is uh, the most beautiful railway in the world, and it is for a reason that it is called the Golden Ring of the Siberian Railway. Indeed, with such opportunities in terms of service, we are keeping track of our work. Our priorities are quality and safety. The lowest prices on the market are not for us, because uh, we understand this great responsibility. We accept tourists from different countries of the world. This is why we take into account all the desires of our clients. We look at their preferences when it comes to meals or accommodation. We have a lot of experience of welcoming guests from India who love to have a beautiful life and eat well, and we hope that as soon as the borders open up, we will see you as our guests and we will invite you to get our advertising tour so that you get familiarized with our service. You can see our contact details on the screen. So get in touch the way you like it, and we will always be happy to answer your questions. And my colleagues are telling me that there's just been a question regarding vegetarian food. In St. Petersburg, there are a lot of restaurants that specialize on Indian cuisine, on vegan cuisine. So, if you choose a hotel, which is not an Indian friendly one, and there is no chef doing Indian cuisine in this hotel, 
we can provide delivery of Indian food for individual tourists. Our delivery service works in almost all the parts of city, so there will be no problem with food in St. Petersburg. Well, next question is about yachting. Is it possible to spend a night on the yacht? Answer. Yes, of course. You can uh, lease a yacht for a few hours just to have a trip across the Gulf of Finland and for a few days, including a week, you know. And, um, well, if uh, we, we don't have so many captains speaking English, but we always uh, are able to send uh, an accompanying guide who can speak English and uh, you can travel to Karelia and to Moscow on a yacht from St. Petersburg easily. And the last question, what about children and what are the destinations to visit with children? The previous speaker uh, mentioned the Petrovskaya Equatoria. This is a good museum for family um, leisure and we have a very good and interesting oceanarium and um, a lot of entertainment in terms of uh, night time attractions and uh, and probably what else what about children all right let me see well by the way there is a wonderful historical circus that we are also offering with pleasure, but from my experience I can say that Moscow circuses uh, are maybe a little bit better liked by the tourists, but you can combine Moscow and St. Pete to see both circuses and to benchmark them. So thank you very much. This is the end of my presentation and we will be happy to see your tourists and your questions. Have a nice day. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Boronko Mikhail, and I would like uh, to present uh, Tari Tour Company. First of all, I would like to thank you, a colleague from Profit Travel, from Russian International Center, and Federal Agency for Tourism. I'm leading manager uh, in the Tari Tour travel company and I would like uh, to tell you why Tari Tour, why to planning your trip with us. So we are working more than 25 years. By the way, Tari from one of Asian language is bridge. So, Tari Tour is building bridge between the cultures and civilizations. So, we have 25 years of successful work with all the international markets, from Iceland to South Africa, from America to Australia. We have a quite full range of travel services and tours. Uh, we have uh, very good prices for excellent experience, uh, of course, high quality. We are using the quality standards and we are improving uh, each day. <clears throat> all uh, our service is following um, all the recommendation of safety protocols, what is very important at this time. Also, we have local support 24-7, English speaking staff uh, and emergency uh, phone 
for tour operators and travel agents. We have bonus and loyalty programs. And as a summary, we have many, many happy clients. And we have uh, mostly positive reviews. So, what we can offer? Of course, we have contracts with all the Indian friendly hotels, four and five stars hotels. I would like to, uh, <clears throat> to show it. Uh, there are parking hotels, parking pre and parking Pulkovskaya, also parking Nevsky Hotel and Radisson Royal Hotel in St. Petersburg. What is very important for Indian market, for Indian guests, it's meal. Uh, we have also contracts with all the Indian restaurants. We know all meal diets and uh, restrictions. We can offer vegetarian or giant menu. Uh, Indian restaurants in St. Petersburg, there are, for example, Namaste, Tandoori Nights, and Tandoor, uh, uh, and all these restaurants, dishes are made in uh, traditional oven Tandoori. Uh, of course, we can offer as classical, as uh, tailor-made tours for Indian guests for your budget and for all your needs. Uh, we are working not only with classical tours, we are working with all markets, segments, like laser groups, private, uh, family groups, and mice. Uh, mice and incentive programs are very interesting and very popular because St. Petersburg is the city of great uh, opportunities. Uh, we can offer, for example, private programs in the museums, early or late private visits, uh, some exciting activities like yachts, motor ships, uh, helicopters, or military vehicles, uh, gala dinners, uh, with uh, buffet and open bar if necessary, also other evening activities. For example, Indian DJ, what is very popular, I think, karaoke, and belly dance. Uh, we can offer also authentic shows, uh, for example, Feel Yourself Russian, traditional uh, Russian dance show, also ballet. And I would like to um, tell about some points uh, that we are preparing special for Indian guests. So, number one is a military tour, uh, tank ride. Mm, it's uh, really interesting and uh, every year we have many requests for this program. Uh, your guest can put a military uniform and get a uh, ride on a real uh, Russian or on a real Soviet tank. Then shoot uh, uh, the famous Kalashnikov gun and after that enjoy a Russian army field lunch. It takes uh, from four hours till eight hours. Also, it can be a full day uh, tour.
Uh, point two, as you know, St. Petersburg is located on the Neva River and uh, you can enjoy the another view of the city from uh, yacht or kayak. Uh, now you can discover the St. Petersburg in a new way. You can rent yacht from one hour till uh, two days. You can uh, also <clears throat> get overnight there. You can uh, use it for a long way to Kronstadt Island or to famous Peterhof or you can go also to the Ladoga Lake. It's easy to, to rent it and it's not so expensive so uh, you can enjoy uh, panoramas of the city uh, or just uh, enjoy the perfect view in the water. And uh, here is our summary what uh, we can provide. Uh, one of the important things is uh, provide the tours, the regular tours. We organized regular tours from April to October every week. Uh, and here is classical combination, St. Petersburg and Moscow, one week. You can start Friday to Friday or Monday to Monday. We use four-star located uh, hotel, uh, four-star center located hotels. We use uh, very good, clean and comfortable buses. And uh, you will get an English speaking guide, an experienced guide. Uh, it will show uh, and accompany your group from the first day till the last day. Uh, also, we are providing special tours uh, we are, you know, we are is uh, the great opportunity to plunge into the past of the city to see how uh, developed uh, it. Uh, and virtual reality glasses will perfectly recreate the history of uh, our city. You will see uh, how, for example, St. Isaac Cathedral, Smolny Cathedral, or the Summer Palace were erected, how the crossing uh, of the Neva uh, was carried out in the winter, and how the first uh, marketplace, uh, Gostinny Dvor, um, located uh, near the house of uh, Peter the Great, looked like. Um, another special program for uh, guests is uh, Russian bow. You can feel like a Russian nobility. Uh, you can dress a officer uniform or you can dress a special uh, uh, bow gown and enjoy the atmosphere uh, of uh, the real uh, time of, of the past. Uh, so, I and my colleagues will be glad to receive all your requests uh, by email, or you can call us or visit our website. We are working 24 hours. We will be glad to see you and your guests in St. Petersburg. Welcome to St. Petersburg, the Tari Travel. Thank you.
Namaste, dear friends. I'm glad to welcome you all at the Russian Expo meeting. My name is Victoria and I represent BP Travel Company. I would like to introduce our company to you. We are Russian DMC and inbound tour operator since 2010. Our team pays special attention to the development of domestic and even tourism. We have a great experience in organizing tour in Moscow, St. Petersburg, Kazan, Sochi, Murmansk, Novgorod, and many other cities in Russia. We offer a full range of travel products and services through Russia. Sightseeing tours, family shore excursion, river cruise, study tours, ready-made packages and customized programs, adventure tours, military and space programs, my services as well, and VIP tours. Our, uh, our advantage experience a team in depth knowledge of regions travel needs, one step to shop excursion. Uh, we invite you to visit our hospitable country with BP Travel Company. Our company develops for individual group uh, business trips for any request, budget and client's wishes. We work with hotels of any comfort category and location throughout all Russian cities. Very special attention is paid to guests from India. For our guests from India, we are ready to offer many different unforgettable tours. But today we would like to tell you about our tour of shopping in St. Petersburg. During your stay in St. Petersburg, you will be able to visit the Tsarskaya Selo Jaroli workshop, one of the main works of which is the reconstruction of the Amber Room, which disappeared from the Catherine Palace during the Second World War. You will also visit the Imperial Jaroli factory where you can paint pendants in the style of Karl Fabergé and take a masterclass on immersion in Jaroli. Uh, our tourists will visit Diamonds and Gold Workshop in the Hermitage Museum. You will visit the brand shop of chocolate of the famous St. Petersburg Chocolate Factory Krupskaya. Uh, we will also guide you through the old farm markets, one of which was opened in 1739. And lastly, you can go shopping in various shopping malls of our city. I want to know that we work with the best Indian restaurants in our city, whose owners are Indian citizens, so you won't have any problems with food in our city. Dear friends, in, conclu in conclusion, I want to say that we are looking forward to the opening of the border between our countries. And we guarantee that our team will organize your stay in St. Petersburg professionally, comfortably and unforgettable. On behalf of our team, I wish you and your loved ones a health and happiness. Hope to see you in 2021. Bye bye. Good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm very happy to uh, present one of the most beautiful cities uh, today, St. Petersburg. First of all, uh, I would like to thank Profit Travel, uh, Federal Agency of Tourism of Russia and uh, St. Petersburg Tourism Committee for this amazing opportunity to reconnect with our partners and colleagues from India today and uh, to present our city. My name is Lilia Glavanova. I'm the head of sales for to Russia Travel DMC. And as our name suggests, uh, we are an incoming uh, DMC in Russia and we operate in all major uh, cities of Russia, including Moscow, St. Petersburg, Kazan, uh, Yekaterinburg, uh, and regions of Altai, Kamchatka, and the Caucasian region. But St. Petersburg is our home city, the city where we were born and um, 
we are very happy uh, to speak about it today. Uh, over the years, we have been working with uh, clients from all over the world, and we always try to make sure that uh, they feel at home in Russia, and they get inspired so much by our country that they would like to re-return here. Um, with uh, more than 10 years' experience, uh, we can satisfy the needs of the most demanding clients, uh, the most demanding travelers, and we can offer you uh, very competitive prices as we work directly with uh, all the major hotels, museums and sites, which is very important on a normal high season uh, when it's almost impossible to get inside such museums as Hermitage, Wiederhof and Catherine's Palace without a pre-arranged visit. Uh, we organize um, skip the line entry to all of these sites as well as VIP entry. As a DMC, we provide um, a wide selection of services uh, to you and your clients. And um, we offer uh, both uh, package tours for groups and uh, FITs, uh, both for leisure and business travelers. We uh, offer a full range of services for mice and um, organize stunning events here in St. Petersburg and in other cities of Russia. Uh, we offer accommodation, transfers, interpreter services, uh, business partner sourcing. Uh, when working with Indian market, uh, we pay special attention to your clients' uh, food preferences. We know that it's very important uh, for your clients and we always handpick uh, all the restaurants, uh, all the dinner and lunch venues uh, for the programs, as well as uh, the hotels. Uh, as my colleagues mentioned before, uh, we have uh, super nice restaurants here in St. Petersburg and there's no issues with organizing uh, food for the tourists from India. Uh, most of them are owned by uh, Indian citizens. They have authentic Indian chefs. And uh, there was also a question uh, to one of my colleagues, to Ekaterina Vasilyeva, if I'm not mistaken, uh, whether they can bring uh, Indian chefs with you or not, this is possible. You can bring an Indian chef. Um, also, we organize special tours, such as shopping tours, visits to the uh, jewelry factories, um, all kinds of unique tour itineraries. All this can be organized. Uh, and um, I should uh, say that we named uh, our presentation um, St. Petersburg is the best destination for 2021 travel. Uh, why do they say, uh, why do we say this? Well, uh, you see, um, during uh, the normal years, St. Petersburg is overpacked with tourists from all over the world. Uh, but then uh, 2020 uh, happened and we were all taken aback by what's now known as COVID. And I don't know how you ladies and gentlemen felt in the first half of the year, uh, but we in our office felt pretty much like uh, this wonderful brown bear. We miss our touristic uh, flow very much. We miss all our partners. Uh, of course, we are happy to reconnect with you via um, profit travel today. And uh, this is a wonderful opportunity, but uh, we are very eager uh, to see you in person, and there's nothing like face-to-face -face communication, of course. And um, um, we also have to say that um, no matter how this year uh, made us uh, feel, no matter um, how difficult it is, but still it brought also a lot of relations. Uh, it brought a lot of changes into our life. It made us reconnect with our families, it made us reconnect with nature, and uh, made us more flexible. St. Petersburg uh, was one of the first cities uh, that pioneered uh, for the safe uh, travels protocol, which was introduced by World Travel Organization. And I should say that uh, we take it here very seriously that all museums, all sites, all hotels, and uh, we as two operators had to um, go through a special certification. Uh, and before we could reopen, uh, our 
the Committee of Tourism made sure that uh, we observe all these uh, anti-COVID measures, that all the protective gear, masks, gloves, uh, sanitizers uh, are provided for your guests. And now St. Petersburg is one of the safest places uh, for travel. So here uh, you can see the square, the main square of St. Petersburg with an uh, art performance dedicated to post-COVID. Uh, as a tour operator, we uh, saw a lot of changes in the demand for the tours, and now uh, it's refocused for the tours to the green areas of St. Petersburg, uh, to the suburbs, to the environs. And um, uh, here on this slide, you can see uh, wonderful park areas that uh, my colleagues also mentioned. Uh, we have amazing uh, parks in the Catherine's uh, summer residence in Peterhof, the fountain parks, the uh, Russian Versailles, the residence of Peter the Great, uh, amazing residence in the Um uh, There are plenty of places where your clients can reconnect with nature, feel free from being locked up and um, uh, to enjoy uh, their time outside. Uh, we also have wonderful uh, areas uh, along the Finnish Gulf, uh, along um, Ladoga Lake uh, in the region of uh, the so-called Leningrad region, in uh, Vyborg, uh, in Karelia, and uh, uh, Pskov and Novgorod. Uh, we um, currently organize uh, tours, which are mainly small group tours, uh, and uh, they are oriented into uh, reconnection with nature, going to the uh, local uh, farms, uh, apiaries, um, where people can see uh, locally grown vegetables and even participate in uh, vegetables and berry picking. Uh, and uh, these tours are very highly demanded. So one of the questions from the uh, audience was also what activities, what new activities appear post-COVID. And uh, um, they're not really new, but uh, they're more demanded now, and I hope that they will also uh, be popular among your clients. Uh, we also organize trips to the country clubs. Uh, we have wonderful uh, golf uh, clubs and uh, yacht club in St. Petersburg, where we can also take your clients, and uh, we currently do tours there. Uh, being a palace city, St. Petersburg is an amazing, um, amazing place for mice events. And it's another huge opportunity that 2020 brought about because normally, uh, uh St. Petersburg, uh, houses tons of international events. And so uh, they're booked way in advance. It's very hard to book them. But now, even still now, you can book them for 2021 year. And, um, uh, the stages for the events can be regular conference halls, like the one that you see here is one of the events that we organized for uh, doctors from different uh, regions. Uh, it's one of the conference halls in the centrally located hotels. Uh, you can organize your events in the palaces and choose palace of, of Catherine the Great, for instance, as a scene for your event. Constantine Palace, Vladimir Palace, you name it. There are lots of wonderful uh, scenic places where your events can be organized. Uh, even in the heart of uh, St. Petersburg, which is Peter and Paul Fortress, right now you can see this wonderful atrium, uh, which uh, was um, which is uh, which normally we is. Uh, put up in the center of St. Petersburg and Peter and Paul Fortress. And this is one of the corporate events for the new year, uh, which was last year. Uh, and uh, also we organize gala evenings in uh, museums such as Hermitage Museum, for instance, here you can see one of the halls of the Hermitage. So uh, the museum can be uh, closed up entirely for your group. And uh, we can organize concerts, uh, gala evenings, uh, special tours with the workers from the Hermitage Museum. Um, I should say also that, uh, and of course, everybody knows now that uh, the trips to St. Petersburg are way more affordable than previous years. And uh, this is another very positive feature of post-COVID. 
uh, we are um, planning a fam trip. We were actually planning it way before, and we were supposed to have several fam trips this year. Uh, but unfortunately, we could not do that because of COVID. And uh, if uh, that is possible, uh, if uh, borders open up, uh, we will have one in March. So please, uh, if you're interested in joining it, uh, contact us. Uh, on this slide, you can see our email and our phone number. Uh, you can contact me directly. And uh, if you have any questions, if you would like to um, uh, ask us about our special programs, uh, about um, different itineraries, we will be very, very happy to assist you with any inquiries. And uh, I will just check if there are any questions and uh, I will answer them. So one of the questions here is what are the different festive uh, festival time and other eventful dates uh, where it is good to travel? So uh, if you speak about St. Petersburg, uh, normally the high season is uh, from May to, uh, to September approximately. So it's the best weather, all our parks are open. And uh, during those dates, we have uh, numerous events, uh, starting from May when we have uh, Victory Day, uh, the festivity uh, dedicated to flowers, the Flowers Festival, a lot of international events uh, during this period of time. Uh, but of course, in winter, we also have a wonderful uh, time to travel here, if you're not afraid of a little bit of cold. Um, St. Petersburg is one of the most beautifully decorated uh, and uh, festive um, cities for New Year. So, um, I also into rail cruises. Uh, would it include uh, land tours too? So rail cruises, as far as I understand, you mean Trans-Siberian Express trains. Yes, we do offer such uh, tours and uh, um, we have several options. Please uh, write us uh, via email and we'll send you the options. Uh, it's either Imperial Russia train, which is very popular when you stay on board of the train, or it's um, with the stopovers in the cities when you stay at the hotels in the cities. Um, can you arrange unique venues where gala dinner can be held? Sure. Let's discuss it via email. We would be very, very happy to assist you with finding the best possible venue for your event. As I mentioned, uh, we have numerous palaces. We have uh, country clubs. Uh, you can organize your event on a yacht. Uh, and, uh, there are also cruises that uh, go from Moscow to St. Petersburg. And I know that one of the companies rents uh, cruise ships entirely for different corporate events. Do you have something special package uh, for Valentine's weekend? Well, uh, it's not that we promote such packages, but we will definitely be happy to help you organize um, such package so please contact us uh, let's discuss it we are always open to communication we will be happy to assist you with uh, all kinds of unique itineraries we uh, actually on our slide we put up 24 7 uh, support for partners and clients and that's true because uh, we always try to be online for you, even uh, though we know that uh, there's a huge time difference between uh, our partners uh, in India and then we also have partners in America. So, um, and many other different European uh, countries. Uh, so you, uh, when you start working with us, you get a special manager who works uh, directly with you. And you will also, uh, you, you will always uh, find your um, questions answered. So it's not like we will ignore any questions. Please uh, contact us. And um, one uh, more question. I still have a little bit of time. Uh, one more question uh, that was um, uh, from the audience is that, uh, what are the family tours? Uh, those which would be uh, both for family and uh, for adults and kids. Well, uh, first of all, I should say that uh, we always try to uh, put you with a tour guide who knows how to work with children. This is very important. 
And then there are a lot of venues in St. Petersburg where you can go, starting with uh, Grand Maquette uh, Museum, uh, which was mentioned by the first speaker, Ekaterina Vasilyeva, to the uh, Peterhof uh, Park uh, attractions, where you can take a special little train and enjoy all the park activities. Uh, we have special retro trains, which were mentioned by other of my colleague. Um, so uh, lots of wonderful uh, activities that you can uh, participate in with your kids. And uh, um, we do have a lot of uh, friends with kids, so we know how to organize uh, such tours. And we would be happy to see you here together with all your family. Well, uh, I see that, um, I hope that I answered all the questions. Ah, one more question was, uh, do we provide a, a fire tour guide or not? Of course, so we do have a fire tour guide as well. So if you have uh, those requests, um, we can easily provide that as well. So I think that I answered all the questions. Uh, I wish you, ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful, wonderful evening. Uh, so happy to connect with all of you today. Of course, I do wish that uh, this uh, terrifying experience of COVID uh, is soon over and we all uh, get reconnected at the normal uh, offline exhibitions. But still, it's a wonderful opportunity thanks to our colleagues from Profit Travel, from uh, Federal Agency of Tourism of Russia and the St. Petersburg Tourism Committee. So thank you all, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and have a wonderful evening. We'll see you offline soon. Наша компания уже больше 20 лет на рынке, и изначально мы занимались отправкой туристов. Well, our company has been working on the market for 20 years, and uh, one of the first countries that we, we, we began to work was India. Actually, uh, we were talking um, long with our partners, and we have studied your mentality well, and we made friends. And I would say that we know well the specifics of Indian tourists and uh, the mindset as well as requirements from Indian people. And from our side, we think that we have created the maximum interesting offer that could be uh, uh, just uh, attractive to your tourists. Our company has been majoring on VIP and individual tourism, as well as any difficult routes for your customized requests or specific uh, demands. But the focus is on high-level tourism for your guests to think about anything and that just uh, everything is going to be fine. The, the, the another point is that uh, in 2019, uh, our company has co-created the uh, Travel Russia Association for premium suppliers and the major focus was on international tourists. So we have been working on uh, best, best locations, best museums, best transport or best guides and we united all to offer the uh, high level and most interesting programs. I would also like to mention what my colleagues have said before, that St. Petersburg is the first Russian city who is a member of Safe Travels program uh, during the pandemic. And our company was among the first to get that mark to certify for compliance. The safety of our tourists is uh, our main thing and we only cooperate with uh, uh, certified suppliers. We don't need uh, as much quantity as quality. Our company, as I said, is majoring on individual tourism. What else may be interesting for you, first of all? Every company has a, a, an account manager who is responsible for everything from request uh, reception to receiving visitors here. 
any response within 24 hours. We know that um, applications may differ, but the most difficult may be uh, calculated within 24 hours. Again, as I said, we provide free concierge service for 24 7 it is not just online communication on any emergency issues but also assistance for how to say theater tickets shopping uh, or any leisure issues that are not provided by the itinerary we are an iata member and um, we are also um, provide air tickets we have Hindi speaking guides and we just uh, we provide all visa uh, with visa assistance and uh, all electronic visas will be available on an extended service just since next January but if needed we could provide regular visa assistance too and uh, I would say that we have a loyalty program for shoppers it includes discounts for major boutiques and uh, shopping malls of St. Pete and Moscow, as well as uh, uh, closed events. And uh, you can take on clothes in your hotel or in a showroom and other things like a tailor-made um, personal tailor or tailoring of uh, any piece of clothes. Why do we think that you can get something in St. Pete that anywhere else you can get? My colleagues have mentioned that, but still, the major points that uh, are about Russia is that we have Russian hospitality, we have Russian cuisine. We are not focusing it on our tours, but we think that if you're in Russia, you have at least to taste at dinner or lunch traditional Russian food. Russian cultural heritage, museums, theaters, for instance, St. Pete as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And um, it is our great history with deep roots with India in the state hermitage, in the Golden Treasury. There are gifts uh, given to Russian Tsars by Indian Maharajas. We have a tax free shopping. And uh, what else you can get here is Soviet and military tours. St. Pete has a high season from May to September. We, we think that it can be also extended all around the year. As I said, St. Said Petersburg is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and we usually get top positions by World Travel Awards for urban tourism and cultural tourism and this year we are not an exception we were decorated this year this is also one of the most beautiful cities in the world and we believe that an e-visa would uh, canalize more people to us and saint petersburg is the first russian safe travel city a must is uh, the white knights uh, as well as drawing bridges where you can ride on a motorboat under these uh, drawn bridges. The Scarlet Sails Festival of uh, school graduates in St. Petersburg where there is a scarlet letter sail ship going across the river Neva. This year there would be a Euro 2021 football championship next June July for games but we think that St. Petersburg could also be regarded as a winter destination our winter is nice and we have a theatrical season from October through July as well as winter is the best time for visiting museums because not so many people are queuing in line and you have a chance to see more in winter. Our company uh, is an exclusive um, offerer for foodies and gourmet people. 
These are special presentations of various restaurants and cuisines in St. Pete. Not only Russian cuisine, but Italian, Georgian, and uh, many uh, cuisines of the world, because St. Petersburg is the restaurant capital of Russia. Apart from standard tickets to circus, to theaters, this is also for backstage tours. You can talk to performance artists. We offer golf tours because around St. Pete there are a few 18 uh, hole golf um, fields. We also organize uh, closed events in palaces or concerts or any event for corporate purposes as well as um, uh, as well as visiting museums after hours or before hours or we can close off museum for a dedicated team we can organize musical and private galleries and performances as well as a special antiquities route to visit antiquities shops, art galleries, as well as uh, uh, custom support to uh, carry items out of the country. And there is a daily shot at the Peter and uh, of, of the cannon in the Peter and Paul uh, fortress, and we can we can uh, witness this shooting, as well as the military tours, Kalashnikov shooting tank and armored personnel carrier rides as well as uh, boot camp courses for young soldiers this is especially popular among indian tourists we also focus on the fact that saint petersburg is russia and we are also offering traditional russian tea party caviar tasting ceremony as well as the russian sauna or russian bathhouse and you can only uh, feel it in Russia. We're also focusing on family programs and uh, uh, children uh, leisure for family packages in winter we offer um, winter sports, skiing, sledging, uh, dog sledding or uh, reindeer sledding as well as master classes for Fabergé children painting porcelain painting at the imperial uh, porcelain factory as well as the best planetarium and circus in in our country and the russian railroad museum one of the biggest in europe a modern interactive museum and that could be very amazing for for boys especially And what else is uh, considered interesting? This is a premium product that we offer. The flagship product is the program called the Tsar-like um, trip. It's like a king, a Russian Tsar. But you can only get it here. The most filled program to visit the uh, diamond and golden treasuries of the Hermitage, the, the Fabergé Museum which uh, those eggs were given by Karl Fabergé to Russian Tsars. The Pushkin suburb palace, Peterhof fountains, as well as real Petersburg cuisine, which is different from the Russian cuisine because it's more aristocratic, as well as theatrical nights, a belly or opera or together, and a coach horse riding. The tour can long can be five, three days or seven days long with different editions and combinations with Moscow, which is also good. And you can end up uh, your um, vacation in a rural estate for two days or you combine with other cities or towns. Well, I'm going to uh, take your questions. These are my contact details. I would be glad to take any questions from you. What about amusement parks in St. Petersburg? There are a few amusement parks in St. Petersburg that uh, are open now. There are a few options. Uh, it's not a problem. You can go there by yourself or you can order 
a guided tour. We have more than 300 bridges, seven are being drawn at night. And you can take a look both from the water or just from, uh, from the ground. The drawing time is, um, is a few hours. They are drawn from April through October, November, but actually the best season is from May through September. Once again, here are my contact details on the slide. We would be happy to get your requests. We would be happy to talk to you later. And uh, we have uh, very good managers, very loyal to you. And we will always meet you halfway. I wish you a good weekend. I wish you a good day. And please uh, convey my best regards to your family and friends. The pandemic will be over soon and everything will get back on track. All the best and all Russian love to India. Thank you.